Girls, I woke up super early this morning, and you know what I saw all over the ground? Ice. Was it on the street? Actually, no. It was all over the plants and all over the grass. Gus, that's frost. It happens when it's cold outside because winter is coming. Winter? Didn't we just finish summer? Well, first it's summer, then it's fall, and then it's winter. Oh, what the, how many seasons are there? I, I, what's winter? Let's just learn about winter. Good idea. Winter is one of the four seasons, which are winter, spring, summer, and fall, or otherwise known as autumn. Winter is the season that comes after autumn and before spring. And the winter season happens during four months of the year. But it depends on where you are in the world. In the Northern Hemisphere, winter starts at the end of December and goes through the end of March. But in the Southern Hemisphere, winter happens in June, July, and August. And the word winter comes from an old Germanic word that means time of water. Winter is what starts the winter solstice. In the Northern Hemisphere, the winter solstice usually happens on December 21st or December 22nd. And in the Southern Hemisphere, which means it's below the equator, the winter solstice happens on June 21st or June 22nd. This happens because the Southern Hemisphere is tilted away from the Sun. And you see, the Northern Hemisphere faces the Sun more directly due to the Earth's axis. The Earth circles or orbits around the Sun. And it takes a full year or 365 days for the Earth to make its trip around the Sun. And you may notice that during winter, the days are shorter and the nights are longer. And the shortest day of the year is the day of the winter solstice. The day is actually not shorter, but that day has the shortest hours of daylight. And no matter where you are in the world, if you're in the Northern or the Southern Hemisphere, winter is always the coldest time of the year. Which is why when we think of winter, we think of warm clothing, snow, and of course Christmas in the holiday season. I don't have clothes. I just wear this very face all year. That's okay, Gus. It actually looks like it's kind of comfortable, actually. But did you know that the Earth is actually closest to the Sun right after New Year's Day? It is the closest to the Sun between January 3rd and January 5th. And even though it's the closest to the Sun, then, it doesn't feel warm because the Earth is actually tilted away from the Sun at that time. So, what happens in winter? Good question, Quinn. Well, first, some animals like bears and chipmunks hibernate in the winter. Hibernate means to stay inside somewhere hidden and sleep or rest for most of the winter. Is that why you guys always put me in a drawer? That's the only place you could sleep. <laughs> okay. And unlike summer and the springtime, you also may notice that many of the trees look bare. All the leaves have already fallen except for evergreen trees and some evergreen bushes. Of course, people stay inside more than they do during the spring and summer because it is cold outside and gets dark much earlier. And besides snow, there's also wind chill that can cause lots of problems during the winter time too. 
Wind chill is the combination of wind and temperature and is based on the rate of heat loss from exposed skin. And this is also because of the ice, sleet, hail, and freezing rain that happens during winter. And of course, we can't forget about snow. Hey, guess what? Snow is clear, but it appears wet because of the way that light shines off ice crystals. The ice that I saw on the grass today looked white. I the bet it's for the same reason. Yeah. And even though snowflakes are unique, they all have five to six sides. But why does this happen? That's a very good question, Quinn. And the reason why snow looks white is because when the temperature in the clouds is very cold, the water vapors in the clouds freeze and form crystals of ice. Then snowflakes are made from the crystals of ice that form from small pieces of dirt in the air, believe it or not. Hey, guess what? Did you know that each snowflake could have as many as 200 crystals in them. Whoa! That's right, Gus. And just like you, me, and everyone else, every snowflake is completely different. No two are ever alike. Snowflakes collect on top of each other and squeeze out the air from the middle of the flakes and pack together. Wow. This is a really cool fact. Did you know that the world's largest snowflake was measured at 15 inches across and eight inches thick? Wow. And the most snowfall in one year was recorded in Mount Rainier, Washington. From 1971 to 1972, 102 feet of snow fell in one year period. Wow. And the most snow in 24 hours was recorded at Silver Lake, Colorado in the United States of America with 76 inches in 1921. And are you ready for the final fact? The coldest temperature ever recorded was at Vostok Station in Antarctica in 1983. The temperature dropped to negative 123 degrees. That is cold. Well, hey, guess what? Now we know all about winter and a little bit more about snow. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Bye. Bye.